prior to investment accounting, we tracked everything in Excel or Word. You have entities that cross over, um, I say funds or you know, 50% might be owned by this owner and 50% by this. If you have those entities set up in MRI already, then and you set it up in investor investment accounting one time, then it automatically rolls up and it, it streamlines things where you don't need to duplicate it for this fund or this fund or this fund. Before we had investment accounting, we I mean to find the ownership structure, you would literally go upstairs in a filing cabinet. We have over two to three hundred binders that just have hundreds of documents in it that we would have to go sift through to find the correct ownership and titles and who's invested in each entity. If I had this walking in the door four years ago, it would have, the learning curve for me to learn our ownership structure would have taken half the time. A lot of people, when they hear investment accounting, they may think, oh, we're gonna use it for modeling or we're gonna use it for funds and to try to track that ownership where we are trying to think outside the box and MRI is allowing us to do that and supporting it and developing their product to try and and meet multiple um, businesses and not just a traditional real estate, a REIT or a, a publicly traded fund or a growth fund or, or whatever. MRI is investment accounting allows us to think that we're family owned and it's not a traditional real estate structure where we're, but we are using it, we're gonna see the benefit of it. The resources that we have for MRI at you know, the drop of a hat have been invaluable to creating a system that's gonna be valuable long-term for us.